Hello guys, welcome back to Fundamentals of ABM 1. Again, I am your teacher Pearl, now signing on. Our topic for today's video lesson is about the history or origin of accounting. This is Fundamentals of ABM 1, Lesson 3. It's a milk base and SLM base. To start with this new video lesson, let us have the first activity which will sharpen our mind, our sight, and our senses. So let us start. Your first activity is you are going to look from the pile of letters, the words which are the functions of accounting. I will be giving you a few minutes to seek the words and write it in your notebook. After the given time, let us check. So, you can pause this video while you are still searching the word. And time start now. Just pause the video if ever. Uh, you are not yet done. Okay, are you done? Have you seen the words? I mean, the functions of accounting? Okay, let us check. Now let us check, and I want you to check your own work. Okay, have you seen the words? I mean the function. Okay, let's start checking. Okay, number one is, have you seen that word? Okay, check that one. How about this? Communicating. So the first one is keeping. It's a function of accounting. The second is communicating. Have you found that? Communicating. Next is, what is that? Protecting. Okay, that's another function of accounting. And the last one is recording. Okay. So, who got it? Who got perfect, guys? Very good. I know all of you get it. So that's our past lessons. Now let us proceed to our next topic. Okay, I want you to stop, look, and think. And try to look into what is our goal today. I have here pictures pictures. It's the first clue, the second clue, and the third clue. Now, based on the given pictures, looking at the pictures, what do you think will be our objective of today's video lesson? Any idea from the given pictures? Yes, very good. The competency that we're going to tackle today is you are going to narrate the history or origin of accounting. And for the objectives, we have uh, triple chop this one into knowledge, skill, and ability. So for, for knowledge, you are going to mention terms related to the history and origin of accounting. And for the skill, you are going to trace the history and origin of accounting. And for ability, you are be able to appreciate the roots or cradles that brought influences to the emergence of accounting. So let's proceed. I want you to watch this video from the storyteller. 
while you are watching I want you to list some of the events and create a timeline like what you always did in Araling Panlipunan. Okay, let us start. Welcome to a short overview of the history of accounting in Western civilization, in a big picture kind of way. This video takes you through five major eras of development in the history of accounting and highlights the major breakthroughs many of which are relevant up to this present day. What's the essence of the accounting profession? It hasn't changed that much over time. Accountants are here to record your transactions. The core part of the word accounting is count. We help you count, record, classify, summarize, reconcile and analyze. That role started a long time ago and has evolved along with developments in society and technology. Early accounting records have been found in Mesopotamia, Assyria, Phoenicia, Sumeria and Egypt. The main purpose was to record the growth of crops and herds. Human beings transitioned from the hunter-gatherer stage to agriculture about 10,000 years ago, which is not that long ago given that our current species of human has been in existence for about 200,000 years and our planet Earth is estimated to be 4.5 billion years old. When we moved to an agricultural society, hierarchy and structure were introduced and the need for an accounting and control cycle, including auditing systems, was born. Fast forward to the early Renaissance, La Bella Italia, the birth of the monetary economy, where merchants depended on bookkeeping to oversee multiple simultaneous transactions financed by bank loans. Luca Pacioli was the author of a book on mathematics which was printed and published in Venice in 1494 and included a 27-page section on bookkeeping. This is seen as the first known published work on the topic of accounting and includes a description of double-entry bookkeeping and ledger classes, concepts that are in use until this very day. Pacioli did not necessarily invent modern accounting, but summarized, formalized and helped spread the accounting practices in use in Italy and around the Mediterranean. Forward to the Republic of the Netherlands around the year 1600. Enjoying the recent self-proclaimed independence from Spain, the Dutch were very actively trading goods all over the world. The Dutch East India Company became the first company in history to issue bonds and shares of stock to the general public. In other words, it was officially the first publicly traded company because it was the first company to be ever actually listed on an official stock exchange. This new ownership structure drove further developments in accounting methods. The Industrial Revolution started in the late 1700s in Britain. The steam engine is an important symbol for the technical developments around the time. As machines took the central role in manufacturing and labor was largely seen as expandable, machine became the assets on the balance sheet and people a mere expense in the income statement. On to the second half of the 20th century, the advent of the computer, shaking up and revolutionizing society to this very day. Large parts of transaction processing can now be fully automated, and new ways of building organizations emerge. Accounting frameworks like US GAAP and IFRS continue to evolve, adapting to the changing world around us and people working in the accounting profession are still here for you to help you count, record, classify, summarize, reconcile and analyze. I hope you enjoyed this short overview of the history of accounting in Western civilization. After you have watched the video, I want you to create a timeline depicting the history of accounting and narrate it briefly. By the way, you have to submit this, I mean this output, which is the timeline during the retrieval of your answers of the modules. Again, do not forget to submit the timeline you've made for this activity. Okay, let us move on. Well, accounting is as old as civilization itself. It has evolved in response to various social and economic needs of men. 
Accounting started as a simple recording of repetitive exchanges. The history of accounting is often seen as indistinguishable from the history of finance and business. Yes, it started during the ancient time in ancient Mesopotamia, where people followed a system of writing and counting money. Its development may be related to the taxation and trading activities of temples. Record keeping was already common from Mesopotamia, China, and India to Central and South America around 3600 BC. Evidences were found like the clay tablets. Yes, Clay tablet was the oldest evidence of record keeping in Mesopotamia in dealing with commercial transactions at the time, such as listing of accounts receivable and accounts payable. During 63 BC to 14 AD, during the reign of Emperor Augustus, the Roman government kept a detailed financial information of deeds of Emperor Augustus regarding the stewardship of Roman sources. Its development may be related to the taxation and trading activities of temples. Suetonius and Cassius Dio recorded that Augustus prepared an account which listed public revenues the amounts of cash in the treasury, in provincial tax officials, and in the hands of the public contractors. Luca Pacioli disseminated the double entry bookkeeping in Italy during the 14th century. The Italians acknowledged Luca Pacioli as the father of modern accounting. Review of arithmetic Geometry, Ratio and Proportion is the first book printed with a treatise on bookkeeping. Soma di Arithmetica is the book published by Loca Pacioli that contains a detailed chapter on double entry bookkeeping. Double entry bookkeeping system is a system of bookkeeping that has a debit and a credit for each transaction, which system is still being used until today. In 1700 French Revolution, the thorough study of accounting and development of accounting theory began during this period. Social upheavals affecting government finances, laws, customs, and business had greatly influenced the development of accounting. In 1760 to 1830, it's known as the Industrial Revolution. Mass production and the great importance of fixed assets were given attention during this period. In this century, the modern accounting in Europe and America began. The modern formal accounting profession emerged in Scotland in 1854 when Queen Victoria granted a royal charter to the Institute of Accountants in Glasgow creating the profession of a chartered accountant. In the late 1800s, chartered accountants from Scotland and Britain came to the U.S. to audit investments. Some of these accountants stayed in the U.S. setting up accounting practices and becoming the origins of several U.S. accounting firms. The first national U.S. accounting society was set up in 1887. The American Association of Public Accountants was the forerunner to the current American Institute of Certified Public Accountants or AICPA.
rapid changes in accounting practice and reports were made. Accounting standards to be observed by accounting professionals were promulgated. Notable practices such as mergers, acquisitions, and growth of multinational corporations were developed. A merger is when one company takes over all the operations of another, another business entity resulting in the dissolution of another business. Again, a merger is when one company takes over all the operations of another business entity which result in the dissolution of another business. Businesses expanded by acquiring other companies. In these types of transactions have challenged accounting professionals to develop new standards that will address accounting issues related to these business combinations. In the Philippines, we have accounting standards at present. The so-called PRFS or the Philippine Financial Reporting Standard and the PAS or the Philippine Accounting Standards. Nowadays, investors seek investment opportunities all over the world. To remain competitive, businesses everywhere feel the need to operate globally. The trend now for accounting professionals is to observe one single set of global accounting standards in order to have greater transparency and comparability of financial data across borders. So the present development of the modern accounting is very much known today. The development of modern accounting standards and commerce wherein the accounting profession in the 20th century developed around state requirements for financial statement audits. Beyond this industry self-regulation, the government also sets accounting standards through laws and agencies such as the Securities and Exchange Commission. As economic worldwide continued to globalize, accounting regula regulatory bodies required accounting practitioners to observe international accounting standards. This is to assure transparency and reliability and to obtain greater confidence on accounting information used by global investors. Well, I think everyone is ready for the evaluation. Uh, your evaluation is you are going to narrate the history or origin of accounting. In a yellow pad, write a narration of the history or origin of accounting. Try to reflect also the different influences of accounting and include also your ideas, the impact of accounting in business. I have given you here the rubrics. In your essay or answer or narration, I want you to focus on the ideas and content, that is five points, organization and flow of events, five points, and reflection, five points for a total of 15 points. Okay, don't forget to be ready with that during the retrieval of your modules. Okay? For your additional activities, I want you to answer the online quizlet. Just click on this link or just type the link to the browser and answer an online quizlet. Pass the result in your blog by just having the screenshot of your score. Then don't forget to mention me so that I will be able to check or record the result. Okay? Okay. Now here are the references and credits also to the fppt.com for the pictures and that that will be all for today guys. Thank you for watching. I am your teacher Pearl. 
now signing off